You'll hear a recording about a particular subject, and you are given a set of questions relating to the recording. For each question, choose the best answer, A, B, or C. You will hear each recording twice. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions. Hello everybody. Today I'm having a conversation with Leslie about friends and friendships. When do we make friends the easiest? Studies show that people who actually hang out face to face are more likely to remain friends than those who simply talk on the phone. And those who talk on the phone to each other regularly are more likely to remain friends than those who only email. That's why many of your best friends are made in high school or college because you see these people every day and probably have a lot in common with them. But then what happens when they go away? That can affect a friendship. Let's say your best friend and you leave for different colleges and you no longer share any classes with them. You don't see them as often as you used to. And when you do, it's a little awkward because they have a bunch of new stories about new friends and places that you don't quite fit into. But this doesn't have to mean that the friendship is finished. So how can you continue the friendship? These days, there are many ways of keeping a friendship alive. There's the phone, email and social media. They can make it feel like you're more in touch with your friends than you actually are. You get the big life updates from Facebook in a relationship when you move across the country. But you'll miss the small talk that makes up a friendship that you can only get from face-to-face -face contact. That's good information, but what about special events like birthdays? These are very important, and people expect their friends to respond. You should work hard to try to see your friend at such times, and if you can't be there in person, you must phone. Sending cards and gifts is an important way of keeping the friendship going, because it means you care about the other person. Sometimes when you meet your friend after a long time, things are a bit awkward. Don't be too hard on your friends. One common thing you might notice is that you have a little bit less in common. This is completely natural. Sometimes friends drift apart. People change a lot in this period of their lives. But that doesn't mean you can't still be friends. Just don't be too hard on your friends and don't expect them not to change. Keeping up friendships can be hard work. That is true, but the effort is worth it. People who lose friends regret it for all their lives. We need to feel there is someone out there who cares about what we do and who is interested in us. People without that get very depressed. Now, listen again. <laughs> 